This delicious potato soup is great anytime, but since it's January and the weather is cold, this one pot soup is perfect for lunch, dinner, or any time you want to get cozy. Welcome back to my kitchen, or if you're new here, my name is Stephanie and this is Ginger Snap Kitchen. The first thing I did was cut up six strips of bacon into small pieces, then I fried it over medium high heat in the soup pot until it was crispy. This took about 10 minutes. While the bacon was cooking, I diced a small onion. Have you ever used one of these vegetable choppers? I like to use one to keep my eyes from watering and because of my questionable knife skills. Once the onion was chopped, I peeled and diced this enormous potato. When the bacon was cooked, I removed it from the pot and set it aside. I chose to leave about two tablespoons of bacon fat in the pan. Then I added the chopped onion to the pot and I sauteed it for about five minutes. After five minutes, I added a quarter cup of all-purpose flour and cooked it together with the onions for about a minute. After a minute, I added four cups of whole milk, which I added a small amount first and stirred it together with the flour to prevent clumps. Once the milk was incorporated, I added one cup of chicken broth, two cloves of minced garlic, and the diced potatoes. I increased the heat to high, then I stirred the mixture, making sure to scrape the bottom to prevent any burning. Once it was just about to reach a boil, I reduced the heat to low and I covered the pot with the lid, then I allowed the soup to simmer gently with the lid on for about 20 minutes. In the meantime, I grated about three quarters of a cup of cheddar cheese, and I chopped two scallions. After the soup had simmered for 20 minutes, I gave it a good stir, and I checked to see if the potatoes were fully cooked. Once the potatoes were fully cooked, I stirred in three quarters of a cup of sour cream, which gave it a very velvety texture. Then I added three quarters of a cup of grated cheddar cheese. You could add more if you like. And I added most of the cooked bacon. I kept some aside to add on top as a garnish. The last thing I added was just a little freshly ground black pepper. Once that was all stirred in and the cheese was melted, it was ready to serve. This soup turned out so great. It was my first time making it and I was really, really happy with the results. It tastes very much like a loaded baked potato. So if you're into that sort of thing, this is perfect for you. I hope you'll try it. And I hope you'll come back and see me again soon. Who knows what I'll come up with next? See you next time.